Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, those of you who have been following along for a while know I daily a 2004 Honda Accord. Driving a 2004 in the year 2018 is not exactly the most modern choice. Uh, so there's a few things that I've done to make it more comfortable and easier and uh, more convenient for me. For instance, like uh, right here, underneath here, if you have a 2004 EX, all you have is a radio and a CD player. That's pretty much the luxurious part of the radio. We don't have Bluetooth, we don't have nav, anything like that. Um, but I ended up getting a uh, Bluetooth receiver, which is back behind the radio. So when I turn it on the car, it automatically connects to my phone. I have Bluetooth in the car. I don't need any auxiliary cords. We don't even have auxiliary cords. We don't have that. You have to buy a special adapter piece for that. So um, the Bluetooth really helps out a lot. Also, at the same time, there's no charging ports. There's no USB ports in this vehicle at all. So I had to run this. This is, uh, where is that? A lightning for the iPhone, okay? Goes back behind the radio, gives me power. That way I don't have to have plugs and like right here, there's one there. There's also one in here. That way I don't have to have anything extra plugged in anywhere. And when I'm done, I can kind of just tuck it away in there. Well, as of lately, this took a crap on me. It's done, it does not charge my phone anymore, and it is a bit of a headache to take all of this out to get back in there, because you can't just take this out. Like, this has to come off. Um, this in here, there's like a bunch of screws in there, and then like this whole entire din comes out, and it has to be like at a special angle, it all pops out and everything. Um, so that is really inconvenient for me to have to change a wire every few months because you know it's being pulled in and out and used all the time it's hanging everywhere so it's under a bit of wear and tear today i'm going to be putting in this utec wireless charger in the car now if you come over here lift up this i have a tray here so what i wanted to do was make it so i could put my phone or one of my phones this is this is uh my my work phone i'm actually i'm recording with my personal but put either one of my phones in this slot here and it'll automatically charge at the same time. It's not in the way, there's no wires, anything like that. It's already connected to my Bluetooth, so my music's gonna keep playing, all that stuff. Uh, again, don't have to worry about the wires, so I can get rid of this, essentially. But right here, I have to figure out, because underneath of here, let me take this out. Underneath of here is this plastic thing. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking this out, this whole entire thing here, taking this out and figuring out a way for me to integrate, 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 and figure out a way for me to put this wireless charger under there. So it's not like popping out and ugly, put it like that. Like when you're driving, it's gonna slide forward and back and this itself isn't being held in. So what I wanted to do was stick this underneath of here. And if that doesn't work, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this apart because if there's too much of a distance between the charger and the phone itself, it's not gonna work. So if for some reason this is too thick, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then I'm gonna hot glue it to the bottom of here. So underneath of this, I'll have it glued to this side, run a wire through here, and then in here, I have a plug right there. So real quick, in case you don't know and you've never seen a wireless charger in your life, Take that, you plug it in to a micro USB, take the phone, put it on there, and it starts to charge. Right there, 13% it's charging. Um, charging wirelessly. Oh, that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, that way frees me up wire space, and also at the same time, it'll keep the phone out of the way. It's not, you know, moving around the car or the seat, anything like that. Uh, it does keep me from using it at the same time but you know you shouldn't be on the phone anyway if you're driving so that's not too big of an issue because I do have Bluetooth so I'll know instantly if I get a notification or I'm getting a phone call stuff like that all right so I went ahead and took out the actual tray piece so just show you that it's on put the phone there starts to charge okay now if I were to just put this underneath of here like that and then I put the phone in it it does not charge. So what's happening is this, the tray itself is too thick and it's not sending whatever type of magical mumbo jumbo 
through the plastic here and into the phone so it'll start to, uh, to charge. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this apart and see if I can then, by removing the plastic here, get a signal to run through this plastic and hopefully charge that phone. All right, so here's the actual charger for it. Now, I don't know what is important and what is not important, but I'm just gonna treat it all the same, which is very important. So, so, so what I'm gonna do now is keep that there, go and plug the actual charger back in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in. Okay, so it's got power. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tray over top of it. See this tray on top of it, and then put the phone there. Yep, there we go. So it does work like that. It's a shame because this little tiny itty bitty slice of plastic was just too much, but that's okay. We're just gonna hot glue that to the bottom of this, run the line somewhere. All right, so. Here is the center console shelf. I went ahead and took it out. I mean, three marks right here. These three allow me to mark this up perfectly, just like that, straighten it out. And I'm gonna be putting the inside piece back in there and then hot gluing this onto there. Huh? I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue all around this ring and try my best to get it as straight on here as possible. All right, so now that I've got it on there, um, the main, one of the main reasons as to why I was doing this was so uh, you couldn't see any wires in it, so there was no you know, wires in the way. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run this wire down here on the wall here in the corner. I'm gonna hot glue it once up top and then once at the bottom, and that should keep it nice and tight in this corner. And then the rest, I happen to have this mat. This mat goes in there and that'll end up covering it all up. All right, so what we've got here is the plug for it, which goes, turns on whenever I turn on the car. Goes underneath that mat, that rubber mat there at the bottom. Then the plug itself comes up in the corner there and then runs up here through this extra pen holder that I don't need because I already have one in the top half here, but uh, I used it for that. And then it goes straight to the wireless charger. So now I've got the phone in there, like so. Turn the car on. And bam, it works a little bit slower for the uh, uh, for the Android. I don't know why. It takes a little bit more time for it to like, I don't know, see that it's charging. But with the iPhone, it's it's a lot more instant. Let me take it out. Put it back in. There it is. Charging wirelessly. All right, so I took that cord out. Close that. Took that cord out, so now I don't have any charging cables in here because I don't need one. Throw the phone in there. Charges, just like that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, everything works. Uh, it works for uh, Android and iPhone. Mine does, um, the food tech. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think it cost me maybe like 25, might have been 30 dollars, and that's including 
the glue and the hot glue gun because I did not have one before. Um, but that's with the wireless charger, the USB cord, and the hot glue gun and the hot glue sticks. But uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, um, I know I'm pretty ecstatic about it. I don't have the cord running through my car anymore. But uh, yeah, if you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, leave a like, share this video, subscribe. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.